Hey guys, it's me Panda and welcome to the first episode of Untrained Mythbusters. In this series, we are going to find out if the myths out there are true or not. Also, if you enjoyed this episode, make sure to leave a like for another, maybe a second episode. Also, let me know some myths in the comment. Maybe we can choose uh, some of them uh, for the next one. I will also show you out then. But without further ado, let's get right into the video and have fun guys. Myth number one is you can raid with military fragmentation magazines. So as you guys know, there's three different types of military magazines in Unturned. It's the normal magazine, it's the tracer mag and it's the fragmentation mag. So right now I have a normal mag in my gun in my maple strike and I have a locker here. So I'm gonna shoot it and you don't really have to be a genius. Uh, to know that it won't break no matter how many shots I will put in. You also can see the, the circle that displays when you uh, hit something, when something is about to break, or when you damage something in general. But what about fragmentation magazines? I mean, they explode, so they should technically do damage, right? So what I'm gonna do is I go back here and I will just empty my magazine into that locker and then I will see uh, what happens. As you guys saw, it didn't show me the hit marker for damaging objects. Let's see if I still did damage. And it did. It did 10% damage to that locker, one magazine. So you technically need 10 magazines to destroy one locker. So one bullet is basically 0.5%, aka two bullets are 1%. So since you technically don't damage your lockers by just shooting at them and the explosion of the bullet itself does the damage, you are even able to damage two lockers at the same time or like more lockers depends on where they are. I have two lockers next to each other here and I will shoot just between them. All the 20 bullets and as you can see 91% and 90% but as you can see you can destroy multiple ones with fragmentation ammo. And this is very nice. Myth number two is zombies get damaged through fire. And for this little experiment, I built a quite a small wooden plate bridge over uh, a few campfires here. And now I just have to attract some zombies in this city here. So as soon as the zombies traps on the campfires, they should lose damage and die. Let's see if that's true. I will just stay up here and let's see if the zombies will die. Does not look like uh, the zombies get damage at all. So zombies are fire resistant. So this myth is busted. Myth number three is you cannot break a claim flag with any types of explosive damage. So for example, the rocket launcher charges grenades, the explosions of military fragmentation ammo, the explosion of shadow stalkers, nothing that basically explodes. And so I put a claim flake right here and I do have a rocket launcher and a charge. And we are testing out if it breaks. So let's go right ahead and shoot the rocket launcher at the claim flag. Let's hope I hit it. And as you see, it hit the claim flag and the claim flag didn't take any damage at all and now the demolition charge and as you can see the floor breaks and the claim flag is still at 100% so this myth is confirmed. Myth number four is you can climb ladders faster in unturned with a special trick and I have a trick where you basically like you jump on the ladder or you just go on the ladder and you do this here this shaky movement by uh, and climb up and as you can see I don't even have to press W and it's already getting me up like I don't press W <laughs> so uh, this is the the trick but is it really faster than just going up so I will have a side-by-side -side comparison right now so first of all I will just um, climb up without doing anything and then I will use the little trick so right now I'm just uh, climbing the ladder you can see the timer there and let's see how long this takes. This is how long it took me to climb the ladder without any trick, without any uh, special movement or whatever. And now I will use the, the shaking thing and let's see how long this takes. And 
And as you guys see, with this method you are quite faster to climb ladders. It is possible to climb the ladders even faster with this method. You need just a bit of experience, you just need to practice it and then you can do it. Uh, I believe even uh, under 5 seconds maybe. But all in all, this myth is confirmed. Myth number 5 is you can use vaccine to loot dead zones without dying and all you really need is enough vaccines in your inventory. So I'm gonna try to loot this UFO there while using vaccine. As soon as I'm in the dead zone I lose radiation of course right now and whenever I'm at around 50% I can actually use my vaccine because it heals around 45 and as you can see this is actually possible. And you don't even need that many vaccines, like you probably need like two vaccines or like three vaccines in total uh, to just loot the UFO there. And I gotta run, I gotta run. Why is there still a death on here? There we go. And use another one and then uh, you should be good. But you have to be really careful because you're exploiting the vaccine to survive in dead zones while being in the dead zone. You might get a vac ban for it. You, you know because back oh, okay myth number six is you can raid with cars and you might think how are you supposed to raid with cars like do you just drive against them and this is actually not working but you can just uh, sacrifice your car and park it next to whatever you want to break or whatever you're gonna um, damage so right now it's next to the locker and I just have to break the Jeep in this case it's a Jeep just break the car any vehicle and explodes and it didn't do any damage so the myth is busted myth number seven is that you deal less damage when shooting someone while having a suppressor on your gun this is in many games like it, so if you have a suppressor on, you deal less damage in many games. And we're gonna find out if it's the same in Unturned or not. So first of all, I have the Maple Strike without the suppressor right now. I'm gonna drop it to my moderator and he shoots me once in the head and we will actually see how much we lose. We lost 44 HP there, at least like percent. And uh, let's test it out with the suppressor. Now, take the suppressor on. And shoot me in the head. Wait, 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 wait. Now. Also 44. So the damage is the same with or without suppressor. So it doesn't matter if you have a suppressor or not. But this myth is busted. Myth number 8 is you can shoot through people. I have 4 guys staying in a row here. And I will just shoot the first one in the head. And see if the bullet goes through. And as you guys see, the bullet doesn't go through. It's not possible in Unturned. Hopefully, it will be in Unturned 4, the new version that will come out hopefully soon. It will uh, still take a, take a while to develop, I guess. But no, at this point, at this moment, you can shoot through people. Myth number 9 is that military guns break faster than ranger guns. I have a Maple Strike right here. I also have a Zubeknikov. This here is a military rifle and this is a ranger rifle. And I'm, I am I keep getting messages. What's going on? So first off, let's shoot 30 bullets with the maple strike. So for the maple strike, it's the entire magazine. Let's just spray it against this tree. And it's empty. And let's see, it has 94%. Let's remember that. So now we are going to shoot with the Zubeknakov. We are also going to shoot 30 bullets. So there will be 5 remaining in the magazine. Five remaining and it's 95%. So in fact the military guns breaks faster than the ranger guns. So this myth is confirmed. Myth number 10 is as higher your FOV is as less FPS you get. So I'm looking at the ground right now and right now I get 140 FPS, 145, 130, around that. And let's lower it and see if it changes. I lower the field of view and as we can see the FPS stays. So it doesn't really change how much FPS you get 
So this will still be the same. So this myth is busted. The last myth is can you enter vehicles mid air? So for this little experiment, I brought a drop here. Hello. Hello. And uh, we got a sports car here because the sports car is actually another one seater like this one. Actually, uh, I, I wasn't really thinking when I spawned it in. And we build a little ramp here, which uh, drop is going to drive over. And I will just stay here. Uh, well, it's broke my leg. And then I will just try to jump in the car mid air, press F, and we will check if it's possible. And yeah, let's try it out. Get in your car, drop, and go for it. A speed. Oh, oh shit. That again. Oh wow. No, yeah. no. Dang it. <laughs> oh gosh darn it dude. Okay guys. A little Easter egg here. You can just put a plate like inside the car, enter the car, and it flips. You don't even need the car trick. Alright, go for it. Go 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 go. Oh, I did it. <laughs> so this myth is actually confirmed. You can't enter vehicles mid air. It's the same with cars, helis, planes, whatever. And actually, like, jump out of plane and jump in again if you're cool enough, you know? Um, but yeah, this myth is confirmed. It is possible. And, oh, you, you have pretty cool hair. I just realized you have the same hair. Very nice. So that's it with the video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Also, please make sure to join my Discord. It's the first link in the description. Um, I'm in my Discord right now. I'm also active, like, I'm chatting to people and stuff. And by the way, I almost forgot about that. There's a giveaway channel in my Discord and we are giving away stuff daily. So this is just today. It's right now. Um, people can still enter. Just click on the part yet and you enter the giveaway. Um, we are giving stuff daily. Sometimes like four items a day. And as you can see, we're also giving like games and also mythicals. Just like this one. So just join the Discord, it's in the descriptions for free, we can talk to each other. And see ya there guys, leave a like if you liked the video, leave a sub if you haven't done it yet, and see you in the next video guys, bye.